Hey y'all, this is Morgan Mosley. I am the Airstream Specialist at South Haven RV and Marine in South Haven, Mississippi. We're located uh, just south of Memphis, Tennessee, uh, the northernmost part of Mississippi. And today, I would like to do a walkthrough video for you guys um, of the 2024 International 28 RV Twin. So uh, we'll get started on the outside, then we'll go into the inside. At the end of this video, I will leave a picture of my business card so you can have my contact information um, if you'd like uh, any additional information about anything or would like to purchase this unit or any other Airstreams, you can reach out to me. I'll be happy to work hard during your business. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna see is the electric tongue jack, which does come as standard equipment on all 2024 Airstreams, including the Bambi. Um, 30 pound propane tanks on the international behind this shroud, your battery box here. Um, so this one is equipped with a 300 watt um, rooftop solar package, but if you want additional solar, there's a little plug and play uh, deal right here where you can get some mobile panels and you can just hook them up right there and stretch your batteries. Here's your spare tire down underneath. Now we'll walk around to the other side over here. Um, talking about the solar panels, they are the Merlin panels. So first we'll look at the uh, Gerard tankless on-demand hot water heater. Um, it's located right down below here. So with this one, you'll run out of water before you ever run out of hot water. You can set the temperature to exactly how you want the water to come out. And uh, that's the temperature it'll come out. Here's your exhaust for your furnace. Um, right beside that will be your black tank flush. So you can flush out your, uh, your holding tank. Um, outside shower, hot and cold water. Um, back over here, so this one has two air conditioners, so it will be the 50 amp. This is your smart plug um, connection for your shore power. Now, beside this over here, this is new for the 2024, so used to they would have the, uh, the satellite hookup and the cable hookup, and now it includes one coax port for legacy satellite systems or cable, and the newer port over here for Ethernet. Um, what a lot of people are doing, they're plugging their Starlink um, satellites straight up into this. And then when we get on the inside, I'll show you the, uh, the new outlet they put in for your router. Uh, they do have the Goodyear Endurance tires. Right here was where you're going to fill up your, um, your fresh water tank if you need to take water with you. And directly beside that is your city water hookup. This is the twin bed model, so it does have um, shallow storage on each side as well as in the rear. So here's the size of the... Uh, the storage on one side of the camper, the exterior. Um, international badging. Now below this, this is where your uh, your 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 tank dump's going to be. So black water tank um, valve and the gray water valve. That's where you're going to hook up your sewer. And this is where you're going to store your sewer hose in this uh, tube that runs the uh, the entire width of your trailer. You do have uh, um, manual stabilizer jacks on the international. So on each side. So they do provide you a crank to get those up and down. My suggestion would be to get a cordless drill and a three quarter inch socket. This is zip them up, zip them down, easy peasy. Over here you do have the, uh, the roadside and rear awnings come as standard equipment on the International. And you see above, they have upgraded the, uh, the air conditioners to the GE air conditioner units. So you have two of them up there, they are the GE now, so the medic. In the back over here, so you do have the backup camera up top, um, below that your awning, um, badging for the International, a place to put your, uh, your license plate, rear storage, and a rear bumper. So we we'll go over here, we can look inside this storage. So in the rear, you know, it is big enough to hold your power cord right there, as well as many other things will fit back in here. On Airstream, you don't have a whole lot of exterior storage, but they give you pretty much what you need. The, uh, the color of the awnings on the International are my, probably my favorite. Very colorful, different shades of blue. So this is kind of what that looks like. Now we'll go back around to the, the curb side over here. You do have the electric um, Zip D awning on the International. So the Flying Cloud's a manual awning. The International does come with the electric awning. Um, on the on the uh, 2024s, they do give you the uh, the coil springs for those instead of those rubber pieces that used to come on there. Um, more storage on this side. So this is the other twin bed. The storage is always going to be up underneath the beds. Keep going around. We have two 110 outlets in case you need to hook any electric um, items up on the outside. 
right over here. Entry door. New on the 2024s is also a new design for the screen door. So I'll show you that. Um, it has this little uh, little handle right there versus uh, what they had on the 2023 and previous models for the screen door. So we'll, uh, we'll go in here. We'll go ahead and step inside. Now for starters, just like my other, my other videos, I'm just going to kind of pan around, let you see what I'm looking at before I really start talking about um, what we are looking at. It's a very design centric, this trailer is. Um, put a lot, lot of money into the way that it actually looks. So immediately, right inside the door, you're gonna see your, um, your awning um, controller, um, out, closed, you can tilt it either way, depending on how you might need that. Um, some here, this is your, uh, some, some awning, your awning light controller, ceiling light, they have dimmers, battery disconnector up below that. There is an inverter plug right there inside of the door. So new on the 2024s, there's a new 2000 watt pure sound inverter instead of the 1000 watt, you have way more inverter circuits. Here's your um, sound system controller you do have surround sound in this unit um, inside here we've got a good amount of storage international does have the sliding doors for the cabinetry um, another inverter circuit up here um, right below that a little usb port um, beside that over here is going to be that uh, where i was telling you you can plug in your router for your starlink or any other kind of internet system that you have so we'll uh Go back over here. So the sofa here uh, does have the uh, this reading lights there. Sofa, ultra leather seating. This is the seashell interior for the International. So you have aqua, which is the blue, and seashell is this color you see here. Um, below the sofa, you do have some storage. They do provide you the totes where you can load some stuff up, just slide them in, slide them back out. It's fairly deep. You can see how big it is here. And then. Um, Right over here, you do have a little bit more storage, your little LP uh, uh, monitor there. Then you can make this out into additional sleeping area. So you just take the backrests here, you take them off and you can lay them down right here on this little shelf right here and make an additional sleeping area um, for you know, say two kids, two adults if they really like each other. And behind, you have some storage here where a lot of people, they'll store like bedding and, you know, whatever you want to back here. It's a pretty good amount of little storage back behind. So up top, you do have a, um, your fantastic fan with a rain sensor. You have skylight. You have two skylights in this unit. Over here in the kitchen, um, we'll show you this. In the uh, International, you do have the hardtop to pot Corian countertops sink with a detachable sprayer on the faucet i'm um, over on the side this is your controller for your hot water heater you just set the temperature you want and you're good to go here's your inverter controller your solar controller and your battery and tank level monitors right here two lights up underneath you do have an additional outlet um, up underneath your cabinetry up there then a hood um, you do have your gas cooktop with three burners here and then this one did come equipped with the convection microwave so baking microwave all that one little box a little place over here a little spice rack whatever you want to store on the side over there the storage up underneath um, this uh, little garbage can on this side some places for pots and pans in this top drawer you do have a place to, to put your uh, silverware then another little drawer below that. And you can put some, some utensils and stuff. Um, behind us over here, this table right here, it will convert into another sleeping area. So the leg just goes in, that detaches from the wall, comes down, you take your backrest, fill in that gap, and you can uh, have another little bed right there. Your television, they are all 12 volt smart TVs now. So since they're smart, they have Bluetooth compatibility. That's new on the 2024s. So you can actually use the, uh, the surround sound speakers to play the, uh, the sound from the TV. That has not been possible before. 12 volt TV, so it does not have to be plugged into a, an inverter circuit. So you have one right here. This is the new controller for the GE air conditioning units. Um, they do have the heat pumps as well. 
12 volt refrigerator and deep cools off very quickly good size refrigerator below um, that's your uh, that's up an exhaust for your where your furnace is going to come out and this is your um, fuse box and breaker box behind that will be your converter privacy curtains on each side of the bathroom um, so if you need a little bit of privacy either way you can pull those wardrobe closet here with a mirror inside here you can store your stuff hang up some clothes that's the uh, the sink cover that comes with the unit Beside that will be your shower. A little seat in there for the real tall folks who uh, need to, uh, to sit down to be able to, to get their head in here. It has a vent up top, a little light in here, clothesline in the back. Um, over here is your bathroom. Now, you have two mirrors. On the medicine cabinet, one just beside. Um, you do have a porcelain toilet in the International, as well as a bunch of storage back there. You can see that you also have another vent up top here to, uh, to vent anything out. So twin bed model. The twin beds are a little bit longer, and they give you a, a really functional room here. Um, first, we'll look at this, uh, this cabinet tree. So it's uh, basically mirrors the very front. You store whatever you need to up there. Um, Around here, another 12 volt smart TV in the bedroom. We have another controller over here for your air conditioning units. Light switches. So in the twin beds, you do have the storage cabinets at the end of the bed. You can take these shelves out, hang clothes up, you know, just use the shelves how they sit to put folded clothes or whatever you want to store in there, each side. Very, very nice mattresses here. Uh, they do all, all the, the lines have the upgraded mattresses this year. And each side you do have a little USB port so you can plug in your phone and all that so you can charge that as you're sleeping. Emergency exit window in the rear. Underneath each bed and every Airstream you do have storage. You do provide a couple more totes, you can keep shoes, or whatever it is you want to keep in there, more clothes drawer here in the on the nightstand in between so I really like the herringbone flooring how it just kind of pulls your eyes down the trailer in the international I just think that the uh, the design elements that they they use in this um, very detail oriented very very pretty trailer very beautiful trailer so we'll just kind of walk back and forth one more time so you get a little bit of an idea of uh, what's gonna look like from each side all right, so once again, my name is Morgan Mosley. I am the Airstream Specialist at South Haven RV and Marine in South Haven, Mississippi, just south of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I hope you have a better idea of uh, the floor plan and layout and uh, some of the new features of the 2024 um, Airstream International 28 RV. Um, if, you, uh, if you have any questions at all, once again, at the end, after, uh, after my little spiel here, um, I will have a picture of my business card with my contact information. You can call me on my cell phone. You can call up the dealership. Just add, make sure you ask for Morgan Mosley. Um, you can shoot me an email if you have any questions at all. If uh, you uh, are interested in this Airstream or any other Airstream, I'll work hard to earn your business. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching my video. Um, and I hope to, I hope to do some work with you in the future. Thank you very much.